What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another review and it's Halo the series episode 2. And and it was okay. Uh it did not really improve on the first episode. Uh it was majorly a huge setup. Uh there was a lot more to the lore that was explained and you do understand why the decision they made with Master Chief in the first episode, why they did that, and that continued on with episode two. But I do think that this was one of those episodes that went longer than it should have. And at the end of it, you thought that the episode would go somewhere else and you would see an adventure it would go that route, it will take that risk, and you'll see that journey, but you don't really get that. Instead, there is basically all of a sudden a reversal and a decision has made, and then it, it kind of it goes back to something much more simpler, the easy route. Now, that's what it looks like. Again, they can go a different ways and build it up again, but the episode, in a way, never touched the highs of what could have been, especially the way episode one ended. Master Chief itself, you definitely see a lot more, you hear a lot more, you understand a lot more of that character, what he stands for and how his mind has been affected, what he really thinks, how he is under control, but never really feels that he is. He does think at times that, yeah, he's doing what's right, but at the same time, there are things and the decision that he makes that, you know, shows us that, yeah, he is in control, but there is that thing in him that, yeah, it's okay, you know? So, those are like the things that they could have touched on more especially with the way the first episode ending, but it never quite gets there. And for that reason, it just stays afloat. There are good things in there because it's explaining lore. There are new characters that are introduced. Uh, there are elements to the story that are introduced. But there is a whole lot of setup. And again and again, with this war going around and with this distrust you never again feel that. It was the same issue with episode one and it continues on with episode two. For a show that is about like this war going on and all, and I've said that in episode one here, you actually feel a lot more of it. You do not see that troubles and the war out there. There's a hint of it and they show a decision that has been made, but, and it's tragic, and you see a bit of it, but that's what I wanted to see more. I wanted to see a lot more of that because that showed how war is really affecting people out there, but they never dove into that. They never showed a lot more of that, and that's where I think some part of this episode should have focused on, but instead they decided to focus on other elements. So overall, it's an okay episode. I do think it's a bit of a step down from the first episode. It could have been a lot better. They could have shown a lot more. They could have done a lot more with this episode, especially the way episode one ended, but they just did not decide to take that risk. And you know, you just feel that. So that's kind of my take on this one. How are you feeling about this series so far? Have you been watching it? Are you excited? What's going on? Are you less excited now? Or you just don't care? Leave a comment below. Let me know. And other than that, I want to say thank you for watching. Thanks for all the support. If you like these casual reviews, there are a whole lot of us on the channel. Please go have a watch. And yeah, take it easy. Take care. And I'll catch you all soon. Until then, ta-da. Take out. <laughs>